Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Or why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance?
posh git. Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you! We could work together on this! Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Just fine. Our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate! Do I? I don't know, made up there. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Thank you. 
Give me one reason I shouldn't bet your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Brace for impact! Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane, its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true.
You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Fantastic work. Very promising. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Sounds confusing. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course, Edited versions of real history, but only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bonne journée. C'est bon, t'étais prêt. Magnifique, merci. This is for you, the primary tool of our trade, your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You ready? Let's go. There's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. 
Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly uh, face. I shouldn't <laughs> lively be Havana. A pirate again. I've been here once before. Right. It was a truly Flash awful pleasure. Like yourself, must be cautious. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? I'm bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I, I, could, I could show you the way. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. Yes, misunderstand me. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here do they wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch hola 
our ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen real for every hour of knowing. They're keen to meet them. No, goodness no, I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their forte, mate. Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword, too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals, then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? A small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I've led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. I can't breathe. I think my Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. I'm close at heel, shitbird. Here I come! Don't make me chase you into the harbor! Of the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Duncan! By Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filth was no fuss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! We've arrived. Take your time, I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Oh. 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 Hey, I warned him. Oh. 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 You want 
a dust up, I'll give you one. Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar when your dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Having the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens.
mind me tagging along, do you? Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. Bullet! I believe I'm getting the hang of this! Quiet! I fear they're onto us! Hang back. Ooh, perhaps we should split up to confuse them. Best idea you've had today. Stay out of sight. Bullet! I believe I'm getting the hang of this! Quiet! I fear they're onto us! Hang back. Ooh, perhaps we should split up to confuse them. Best idea you've had today. Buenos días, señores. So late. Yes, sir. Sí, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Omnes qui locutur de dice tejilutam perinde. This will be Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a, a, a hanging. Hanging? Oh, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go, if you like. I'd love to. Especially if Captain Mendoza's pulling the trap. The man owes me money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. Yes, sir. We go.
Hanging sake, man. You don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. Quick as anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want reales, mind. I want goods. Things I can sell. Tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see. Si. We have much fine sugar. Great, we took off a fat Englishman last night. Englishman. Por el delito de motín contra tu capitán, el tribunal de sentencia a morir en la horca. Very fine. We hold it in the Castillo after the man started the fight last night. He ran, left his sugar behind. Very fine. That's a start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man. No contra sus siervos, Bastiales. Lito será el temor. ¡Contrólese! ¿Acaso está loco? ¿Tiene problemas? ¿Qué 
them something to think about. Te ayudaré a distraerte un poco y pensar en otras cosas. ¡Alto! ¡Alto! Quiero hablar contigo. Thank <laughs> you. 
has oído? about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is prawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Buenos dias, Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados, todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más respetable. Lleva meses en el mar. Sé indulgente con él. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are dumb? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julian Ducas, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet.
got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like, get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his purse. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. <laughs> Quite. Good kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, not the opposite. friend in England you may like to meet him. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! Enough amusements, Duncan. How about a true challenge? Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, uh, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> Two blades, as is the custom, we? Oui? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... You must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? God, that's the spirit! Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating! The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana. I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. 
And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like, a device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning.